Hey guys, so I wanted to make a video um, of just a few favorites that I've been loving this month. Um, I won't be doing these all the time, like I said in my last video, because um, I don't buy a lot of things. I mean, I technically could as far as food-wise, um, but as far as like beauty and clothing and all that stuff, um, I don't buy like anything usually um, new each month. Um, usually it's like, you know, every six months to a year I'll buy something new. Um, so I figured that um, I would just do them randomly here and there. Um, I know that they're a popular video and I thought that it would just give my channel um, just a little something, you know, different. So I the first thing I want to um, like show as my favorite. Um, it's something that I actually got from a company. Um, I wasn't like paid to advertise about it or anything. I'm just mentioning it because I think this company um, has really great products and I've never heard of them and I don't know how many people have heard of them but um, their pieces are I would say on the bit like expensive side but um, very nice quality and um, very vintage style so I do like that about them um, but they had this thing where I had to go on and advertise about their website or about their company um, on Facebook and if I did that they gave me three choices of necklaces I could choose from um, and pick one of them to have sent to me for free so um, I at first I was kind of skeptical just because I've had companies like say that before and then they don't send you anything so I you know not knowing the company or you know the type of people they are um, I just went ahead and did it but I figured you know I probably won't be getting anything but I got an email uh, probably about a week after that I, you know, um, put it on Facebook and everything. They sent me an email saying that um, pretty much it was like my receipt for, you know, the necklace and everything saying it was coming and and I was like, okay, that's kind of cool, you know, because normally, you know, I have never gotten that when I've put out the um, advertisement or um, talked about the product, I mean the site. And then I... Uh, I think about a week after that I ended up getting the necklace so I was like that's awesome so this is what the necklace looks like it's um a, like a pocket watch um, the name of it is actually pretty cool because it's um, from a movie that I grew up with and I love to death um, but it's the white rabbits timekeeper so I thought that was cool and I don't know if you guys are going to tell but in the very back there's a lot of detail like etching and stuff you're probably not going to be able to see but I really wish you guys could well maybe you can I don't know but there's a lot of detail in it I just really like it and even in the front there's like etching on the side and then just this whole thing like that's just really cool I just really like that a lot and it doesn't work like the clock doesn't work and I'm not like I don't really care um, but the chain looks like this it's a little short for my taste just because with a big chunky statement piece I would want it to be like low like that um, but it ends up being more like here which is fine I'll probably I mean of course I'll still wear it I love the I love the piece you know no matter what um, but I think maybe later on it might get a bigger chain um, just so that way I can wear it lower or whatnot, but I do love it a lot um, And the company is called shabby Apple. So if you're interested in kind of like vintage pieces or um, just kind of classy um, I don't know. I just I really love their style So if you're into that type of stuff, you know classy vintage whatever um, Just go ahead and check them out I'll put their link down below so that way it's easier and like I said, I'm not sponsored by them I just really like this company Because um, I sent them a message after saying I received it and thanking them for it and they said no Thank you for advertising about our you know website. So I thought that was really cool. But anyways the next thing that I've been loving this month, um, and not even just this month, for a while now actually, but it's the L'Oreal um, 
what is it? <laughs> L'Oreal Hair Expertise, and it's the Evercram one. And this one is for intense nourishing. And this is the shampoo and conditioner. And it's it's um, the gold one, as you can see. But I love this stuff. This is actually my second shampoo of it. And then um, I ended up not getting the conditioner last time because I already had conditioner, but um, I got it this time because I got a sample of it, and I just love everything about this shampoo and conditioner. I love the smell of it. I love the way it makes my hair feel. I mean, not even just the conditioner. The shampoo does wonders. Like it just because of course you don't um, put conditioner on the top of your head, but it gives you that you know conditioning feel like you've actually conditioned the top of your head. Um, without having the heaviness of the conditioner. So I do really like that a lot. And um, the smell of this is amazing. Like it just smells so good. Um, and I actually love to put the conditioner on as like a leave-in. So that way um, the smell kind of like stays on me. I actually wore a little bit of this um, when I went down to um, where I grew up and a lot of like family friends were like wow you smell so good like is that like perfume or something or like a body spray I'm like nope just conditioner <laughs> so it's like really good it smells um, really sweet and I don't know it just smells it almost smells like something that you would want to eat but then it also has that like not chemical smell but like it almost just smells like a body spray as well so I don't know I don't know it smells amazing so if you guys haven't checked this out I recommend it um, completely and fully like it has helped my hair out so much it's um, helped with the damage a lot and the dryness my hair is not you know nearly as dry as it was and it's getting even better like every time I use it my hair has like significantly you know gotten a lot more shinier a lot more smoother and less tangles as well which is a huge thing for me um, and it's free of a lot of things which I think is pretty cool um, just because it's free of like harsh salts um, free of sulfates free of parabens and there's like no waxes or anything like that in there so I really like that um, and they go for about five to six dollars um, depending on where you get it so so the next three things that I'm going to show you are um, actually before I do that one thing that I did like a lot but I ended up throwing the bottle away because it was just a sample um, it was the Nivea body wash and I got um, it in the sample I mean I got a sample about I don't know like two weeks ago so I used it all but I really liked it a lot even though I just had like a little bit of it. It really conditioned my skin um, and usually I have a hard time with um, like a body wash conditioning my skin just because you wash it off it doesn't really seem to like um, do much for my skin. So um, usually I have to have like a lot of lotions to have very dry skin so when I had like the sample and I tried that and that was like conditioning my skin even when I was like out of the shower I was like I have to get more of this stuff so as soon as I get the money I'm gonna go buy um, some more of it but I can't remember the name exactly but it was just one of the Nivea um, I think it was triple moisture or something like that it had something to do with uh, for dry skin um, but it was the Nivea um, body wash so I was really excited to be able to try that but um, if I if I'm able to get it at some point like soon or um, later on I'll definitely do a review full review on it when I actually have like a big bottle of it but yeah I thought I'd mention that because um, I really liked it okay so the next three things are food um, I got this at the Asian market and I've heard that it um, at the Chinese like restaurants they use you know give this to you while you're waiting um, as like your drink and whatnot but um, it's the oolong tea, whoops, just a plain oolong tea, and um, this is actually pretty inexpensive, so I picked up a couple of them, but um, I've been liking this just, um, I don't like to drink a lot of it because it's, 
It's not as strong as black tea, like it's not as bitter, but it's not as light as green tea, which green tea can kind of have a bitter taste if you brew it too much. Um, so it's kind of in between, but I think like this is like the type of tea that I would have like a couple times a day. But I've been really liking this when I feel like having tea um, and nothing too like, you know, extravagant like chai tea or one of my um, fruit teas. I just want something simple. I really like that. Um, you kind of have to brew it a little bit longer than most teas, I feel, um, just to get the right flavor. But then you don't want to over brew it because then it has a, an extreme bitter taste, kind of like black tea. So, um, but I do recommend this. I think that if you kind of want something in between green and, and black, um, I definitely recommend this. And you can pretty much find that uh, most places, so it's not like super hard to find. Um, especially if you have an Asian market, they'll definitely have it. So this next thing I've gotten several times this year, um, but I didn't purchase it for a while um, because we hadn't made it to the um, Asian market in a while. But it's kind of covered, but ginger candy. And it says 100% natural and all it's made out of is um, like ginger, tapioca starch, and um, coconut oil. And the tapioca starch is just like, they cover it so that way it's not like sticky and it's not gonna stick in the packaging. Um, so that's what pretty much what they use that for. But, but yeah, it's like only a couple ingredients and they come in like little packages like this. It's like a little packaging like this. And I put a bunch of them in my purse because they actually help headaches um, because they're pretty like condensed um, amount of ginger in it. There's quite a bit because it's actually kind of spicy um, and if you have a lot of ginger it, it can tend to be a bit spicy. So um, I usually always have these with me if I have you know ended up purchasing some because they get rid of my headaches if I'm having a stomach ache if I'm not feeling well um, I'll eat a few of these and they make me feel really good but I'll actually show you guys what they look like because you can get the hard version but I feel like the chewy because this is actually chewy but um like a gummy but I love the taste of these rather than the hard candy but that's what it looks like it just has tapioca starch on it and it's really good. I'll probably have to eat it after. Um, sometimes I just eat it if I just feel like having like a piece of candy um, because I mean you can eat it as candy but um, I find like it's good as remedy or if you feel like having like a little you know something sweet. So yeah I definitely recommend that um, and the company is Prince of Peace so if you don't have an Asian market um, you definitely could probably get it online actually. The next thing is something that, um, I don't know, I'm in, definitely in the winter, I'm not a huge fan of like sandwiches and whatnot, but um, after we got these I started like really liking sandwiches. Um, I don't know, something with bread, like I like bulky rolls, but regular bread it, it annoys me when I have it in a sand like a sandwich with it because it sticks to the roof of my mouth and I just it's just annoying to eat the sandwich. Um, but we ended up buying these just to try something different. But it's the pocket thins. Uh, this is by Arnold, but I'm sure you can find it by any other company. Um, and this is the eight grain one. Um, it's basically like a pita bread. So hold on, I actually take one out. They're actually frozen because the date was gonna go bad and I didn't want you know to waste them but um, they actually are like a pita bread you can't open it because it's frozen but you can have it like a little pocket um, and they come like this and you just break it there's like a little line see and you just break it up and make your sandwich and they're a little thicker than pita and they taste a lot better than pita and I feel like they taste better than bread a little bit um, not as good as homemade bread though because I do like making homemade bread um, but I definitely recommend those if you find them in your grocery store or any type of brand because they're awesome with if you have even just tomatoes with olive oil and um, salt and vinegar not salt and vinegar salt and pepper 
it tastes really good as just like a tomato sandwich um, or if you just put a little turkey and tomato and um, whatnot it tastes really good so yeah that's all I'm going to show you as my favorites um, that's all I could possibly think of that um, I really liked and that I repurchased or um, was kind of new I guess so I forgot one more thing that I totally like completely blew my mind and forgot that I wanted to show you guys this because it's been um, one of my absolute favorites this month um, but I got it a, a little while ago my husband actually got it for me as like um, I don't know I guess a gift he just want, know, knew that I wanted it and went to the store and bought it for me um, and I had no clue he was gonna do that so I was super excited but it's the um, you curl by Conair it's like the infinity type but it looks like that. It's the clipless curl and iron, and I love this. I actually did it on my hair today on this part, and it just gives really nice. I did it loosely because you can do them really um, tight, like um, spiral curls, but I, I like the loose version if I'm not going to do anything huge. Um, I just liked wanted to curl my hair. I think it looks good with um, straight bangs. So I definitely want to show you guys this because I think it's worth checking out. Um, it's probably um, one of the best like cheap versions of um, the clipless curl and iron. So I think, what was it? I want to say it was $24 or $25, maybe less than that. And you could probably get it on sale like a lot of places. Um, but I think at Walmart it was like $25. So it's one of the more cheaper versions, but it works really well for being um, on the cheaper side. Yeah. So you can definitely check it out. It's the U Curl by Conair, and it comes with a little glove, but it only like fits like these three fingers, and it's kind of like pointless because I always end up burning myself somewhere else, you know. <laughs> but um, yeah, so you just have to be careful with burning yourself. But I definitely recommend this because uh, it was definitely a favorite. But yeah, so that's all I wanted to show you. Um, I just didn't want to forget that because I think that um, it was definitely worth mentioning. And I definitely wanted to talk about this because I thought that um, it was worth mentioning. But yeah, I'm going to go and have some lunch, finish picking up, and probably watch my favorite show, Gilmore Girls. Um, so leave a comment below if you still watch Gilmore Girls um, or if you get the channel. So. Um, it's just nice to know if someone still watches it, <laughs> but all right. I hope that you all are having a good, um, winter and it's not that terrible for you. Um, and I hope that you are having, you know, some fun, even though it's still hard to get out in the winter, but you know, what can I say? <laughs> all right. Keep warm and I hope that you all have a great day and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.